Hey guys, today we're going to talk about 10 ways to make money online. These jobs that I'm going to talk about are also suitable for non-native English speakers. And what's also great, you can learn how to do those jobs online. You don't need to go to a university and get a bachelor's or master's degree. And you can start making money online regardless where you are in the world. As you know, I live in Silicon Valley. I'm a creator and I hire people constantly. And I also constantly talk to people who are hiring contractors. And the problem is there are new jobs that are emerging like TikTok editor. It's so hard to find a TikTok editor these days. So I'm gonna talk about those jobs that are easy to learn and are in high demand. If you're interested, continue watching this video up to the very end. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. Let's start. Job number one, TikTok manager. TikTok officially has over 1 billion active users. And when I talk to people here, everyone's like, oh my God, I want to start on TikTok, but I don't know how it works. I don't know what to do. I need somebody to guide me. So this is where TikTok manager comes in. I basically trained my team to help me with TikTok. The way it works is that you research trends and you basically don't need any prior experience. You just need to be good at understanding who's doing what on TikTok. And then for example, my TikTok manager knows that I have a TikTok where I talk about the US and she's constantly looking for topics that would be interesting for my audience, like crazy prices in California or crazy fines in California, what you can get for 1.5 million in California, like all of that stuff. Yes, I come up with ideas myself, but it's also very helpful to have a person who is constantly monitoring the trend and telling me, Marina, you know, I have 10 more ideas for your TikTok and here they are. I have a manager who gets $10 per idea and a script. You could also charge an hourly rate. It's really up to you. But what I've seen, people charge maybe $10, $20 per idea and a script. But there is also a big shortage of people who understand TikTok on the market right now. So this is your opportunity. And you don't have to be perfect in English. You just need to understand the language. But quick disclaimer. First of all, if you want to look for a job, there are different platforms. There is Fiverr, Upwork, Contra. Contra is a platform that I want you to pay extra attention to because it's new, emerging, and there is high demand for um, creative people. And of course, there is no magic bill. It's not like you go to Upwork, you create a profile, and suddenly thousands of dollars flow into your account. I think you should also do a lot of outreach. Like if you decide to be a TikTok manager, reach out to TikTok creators and tell them like, hey, I have five ideas for your next TikTok. Here they are. If you want me to do this for you on a regular basis, let's, let's jump on a call, let's discuss it. And number two, another thing, please remember that if you're working with someone in the US or Europe, sometimes, uh, you know, there are countries that are under sanctions. Just make sure that you're able to receive PayPal payments or uh, wires from a particular country. Just make sure you look at that as well. And let's pretend you're working with several TikTokers. You work for, I don't know, four or five hours a day researching trends. You send them their trends and you can make $100 a day, $200 a day, depending on the rate that you agreed on. The next job is called YouTube manager. So this is slightly different from TikTok because when we're talking about a longer video, not only you research the topic, but the script has to be more detailed. When we write a script, we normally include articles from different media. We include B-roll footage. So one video preparation can take three, four, six hours. Sometimes it takes days. And uh, YouTube managers are basically responsible for coming up with the idea, writing the script, coming up with titles and text for thumbnails and publishing a video. I actually have a course for YouTube managers and I will leave a link to the waitlist below. We're gonna launch the next cohort sometime this year. So if you wanna be a YouTube manager, make sure to check it out. But again, with this profession, I would recommend setting a, an hourly fee. If you're just a beginner, I would suggest like seven to $10 an hour. If you have experience with YouTube, I would suggest something like 10 to $15 an hour. And then again, reaching out to your favorite creators would be the best way to get a job. But of course, it's important to learn a job first. And the best process of learning is taking courses, looking at other creators, and actually trying to come up with future video topics for a creator that you like. The next job is called graphic slash NFT designer. And this is also a very new job. Let me explain what this means. A lot of creators and uh, 
companies are dropping their NFT collections. And normally they have thousands and thousands of items in their NFT collection because they want to sell it to more people. But with NFTs, you try to make every picture unique. So for example, one of my favorite creators, Joma Tech, created his NFT collection of dogs, Vax dogs, and every single dog is different. And you know, based on what's on the picture, the price is different. Of course, the final goal for him was not to sell a JPEG. The final goal for him was to raise funds and for uh, his fans to support him. But everyone who drops an NFT collection needs a graphic designer to generate those images. And there are different ways to create 10,000 images in a day. This is basically what you can learn, how you create NFT collections by automating the design process. So what you need to learn for this job is design and design automation. There are some NFT drops that are 3D and those jobs pay higher, so knowing 3D is an advantage. If you look at Fiverr, uh, the job pays $100 to $650 for designing an NFT. By the way, guys, if you're listening to this and you're like, but Marina, I've never written an email in English. I don't know how to reach out to people. I don't even have a LinkedIn profile. I don't know how to, I don't like this word, but anyways, I don't know how to sell myself as a professional. I have a course for you. Uh, which is created by my team at Language Herp and I. We have put together a course on business English. It lasts two weeks and you graduate with a LinkedIn profile, with an understanding how to create a resume, with email templates, uh, with understanding how American culture works and how networking works, how you talk to recruiters, how you go through interviews. So if your goal is to get a job in English, I think this is a must take course for everyone just because we not only share very practical tips, but in this course, I also share how you culturally interact with people. What's the best way to approach them? How to be understood and how not to be weird in a way when people don't understand the context. And uh, this is where we're gonna learn a lot of phrases in business English that would help you sound more professional. So if you're considering any of the jobs that I mentioned in this video, or you would like to finally start working in English and start looking for jobs in English, please make sure to check out the course. Uh, we've included a special promo code for you so you can uh, get a special price to enroll in this course. See you very soon when it starts. The next one is my favorite. I think every six months I look for a new assistant just because uh, when I hire people, they work for me for six months and then uh, they get inspired <laughs> whatever happens. Like my current assistant is moving to LA. My former virtual assistant started working for LinguaTrip. Another virtual assistant joined my YouTube school. Just they get so inspired by what's going on. So they change career paths, but basically Virtual assistant is someone who helps with getting back to emails, is someone who checks DMs on Instagram, someone who does different projects like, for example, right now I'm looking for insurance for my friend here in the US. She doesn't have an SSN, so my assistant is reaching out to insurance companies. Sometimes I get a surprise bill from a hospital and my assistant would call them and ask what's going on. So all of those smaller types of things, sometimes you need to be area specific, like ideally uh, you need to understand what's going on in the US if you want to work with someone like me. But also for some people, they don't care where you are because they just need you to reply to emails or reply to Instagram DMs. Virtual assistants can make from 10 to $20 an hour depending on your location, my assistant makes um, over 30 uh, just because she's local. And there are plenty of websites where you can find job postings like that, Upwork.com, Freelancer, LinkedIn, or again, the tip of this video that you should take away with you is reach out to your favorite creator. Sometimes creators, they don't even think they need an assistant until somebody reaches out. This is how I hired my editor. This is how I hired my thumbnail designer. They just reached out and told me like, Marina, I can take this work and do it for you. I'm like, really? And that happened six years ago and now I have a whole team. So reaching out is important. Creating websites. Now this is a skill that's really, really useful and there are so many tools. You don't have to code. You just need to know which tools are out there. There is Tilda, there is Ghost, which is like creator related website. There is Beacons, even Link in Bio is a website. There is Luma, like there are so many new apps that can help you make a beautiful design. And sometimes when people think, oh, I need a website, they think that they need to hire coders, etc. So they need a specialist. 
but it's actually really easy to learn. So you take away the burden from them of researching the tools out there. You learn how to use them. There are more complicated tools as well. There is Wix, there is Squarespace, but believe me, most of the websites can be done with very easy and very light tools that you can learn how to use in a matter of days. And once you learn how to create beautiful websites, how to use those tools, you will be able to make up to $1,000 per website. For example, in Fiverr, I found several people who charge $1,000 per website on Wix, but also found people who just charge $10. I guess this is something you can put together on beacons uh, in, I don't know, 10 minutes. Another job that is in really high demand right now is called Course Manager. So we talked about the platforms where you create a website. There are platforms where you can put together your own course. A lot of companies create their courses. A lot of creators want to come up with a course, but building the whole experience actually takes a while. So there are again different platforms, Kajabi, Thinkific, uh, Maven, Teachable, Udemy. There are so many and like, understanding which platform works best for which creator, being able to upload videos and courses there, being able to manage the whole cohort. Now, this is the job that might require more learning uh, compared to other jobs that I mentioned in this video, but this would be one of the highest earnings. So for example, I have a person who just uploads our classes to Kajabi, my courses, and uh, her rate is something like $50 an hour. So we paid her $650 last month and she was just uploading things on Kajabi. So those specialists, they charge high amounts and the deeper your knowledge about the platform is, the more you get paid. And if you bring it to like the next level where you become like a producer of the course, this is where you can start charging percentage of total revenue, like 10% of the total revenue of the course. Think about it. I think online courses is something that's booming right now and uh, I totally see how this industry needs good people. Thumbnail designer. Thumbnail designers make 10, 15, $20 per thumbnail. Uh, there are more complicated designs and they can charge like $75. But if you look at most of my thumbnails, they're very, very basic. There is my photo, which needs some retouching. Uh, there are some phrases, that's it. And I don't want to do that myself because I'm not a designer. I want someone on the team specifically for thumbnails because we would always ask them to create a couple of options, A-B test them. Um, and this is something you can learn to do easily. What you need is learn how to use Adobe Photoshop. I think this is the app that everybody uses. Create your profile on Fiverr, Upwork, and all the platforms that I'm mentioning in this video. And uh, again, reach out to creators. And the best way to reach out to a potential employer is to create something for them. Like here's a free thumbnail so you can see what I'm doing. And I'd love to do more like that for you. If you look at my Instagram, by the way, my uh, profile picture was by a graphic designer who reached out and she said, you know, I made it for you for free. And uh, I really liked it, so I put it as my profile image, but we also collaborated on a couple more projects where she created additional images for me. So it's all about reaching out to the right people. And of course, there is a funnel. Like when you reach out to a creator, it doesn't mean that they're gonna reply and hire you. What we've seen is that people reach out to 30, 50 creators, 10 would get back to them and they will get two jobs. So it's all about the numbers. It's all about being consistent, reaching out to more people, making sure all of your offers are customized for them. Short video editor. The apps that you can use, Final Cut, InShot, I think InShot is free, Adobe Premiere, and depending on how complicated the video is, you could charge $15 or up to $75. So you're gonna see a short video right here. So basically what you see is a compilation of B-rolls. So the way it works with me, for example, I would create a lot of B-rolls and then I would send a voiceover to my uh, video editor and she would add those B-rolls to my voiceover so that you hear the story and then you also see the image changing all the time, which creates this higher engagement and helps the algorithm promote the video. When I talked to a co-founder of one of the platforms for creative jobs, he told me that TikTok editors or short video editors are in very, very high demand. And he told me if you rank all the jobs by how many people are looking for specialists, short video editing would be number one. And again, just think about it. I think it takes an hour 
to create a short video. If you have a couple of creators that you're working who are posting regularly, in a day you could possibly create five to six videos. And if you charge, let's say $20 per video, then uh, you get $120 a day. And in addition, you can say, you know, I can actually post them for you and charge additional, I don't know, $5 for posting videos on each platform. Again, creators are creative people. We want to shoot, we want to talk to the camera. I hate operations, this is why I have a team. And uh, most of creators would agree with me, like posting things or editing things is something that can be outsourced and you could be the one who gets the job. Another job is also connected with editing. Um, you see, it's just in high demand and I want you to be inspired by this. This job is called Content Repurposing Manager. So if you watch Gary Vee, you see that he creates one video and then it goes on Instagram, on TikTok, on shorts, long format. They just play with it a little bit. They make it platform specific with different resolutions. But basically, this is what allows creators to make more money, get more exposure by filming just one piece of content. There are companies that specialize in that jelly smack but they take percentage of the revenue. So they basically, they take your long videos, they create short videos out of them and they post them. And I think they are hiring constantly people for repurposing, but you could also work with a creator individually. And your proposition could be like, hey, um, I know you're a YouTuber, but I don't see any of your content on TikTok. This is what I did. I took your long video, I created a short video out of it. And uh, by the way, I would say 80% of my TikTok content is repurposed content. So we take longer video and just cut it into a smaller one. So this is what I did, I repurposed. Let's start posting this because you have so much content and your content library is your asset. And I think you should start utilizing it by posting content on several social media platforms at the same time. And for a lot of creators, that means two axing their income, three axing their income because Facebook pays for ads and videos, TikTok has its creator fund and short videos can also go to YouTube shorts where they're is also a YouTube Shorts fund and the creator can get paid for it. And another type of agreement you can have with the creator is tell them like, hey, let me post uh, these videos for you on Facebook and I will charge 20% of the revenue that they generate, something like this. And the last but not the least, the job that has been around for a while now and uh, people need more and more of those specialists, it's called website testing, where basically you learn how to test a website, you notice the parts that are buggy, like a button doesn't work or there is an error in the code and you create reports for developers. And there are different platforms that you can use. There is userzoom.com, usertesting.com, you test, try my UI, user feel. And you go there and you already see clients who are offering those types of jobs. Again, this is competitive. Of course, you need to learn how to navigate the system but I also know people who started from zero and ended up earning $90,000 a year here in Silicon Valley being a tester. But because in this video we're talking about remote jobs, the rates are five to $10 for a 10 to 20 minute test. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end. I hope it was useful and I hope that you finally realize like, hey, I can put my English to work right away. I can start learning those jobs and to make money now instead of waiting when my English becomes super advanced and I move to Canada or the US. You can be anywhere in the world. English is your instrument to take your income to the next level. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in my next videos. Bye-bye.